G'day. Today we'll be visiting young country lad Daniel Daly. He's cultivated himself a thriving succulent garden, bringing his love for the wide open spaces into his Footscray townhouse. So let's go and visit Daniel and his self-proclaimed pride and joy, Little Wodonga. Daniel has collected a large variety of succulents, sedums, acavarias, chrysulas, kalanchoes, all in a relatively short time since becoming a city cider. Introducing me to his abundant collection, I was curious to know how it all started. When I moved from down from the country, I sort of missed the vastness and the open fields. And uh, so I thought I'd cultivate myself a little garden. The diverse succulent flora has relatively few Australian varieties, which is surprising considering these plants prosper in semi-arid climates and need little watering. I like to get out of here a fair bit, so yep. it's uh, good to unwind in, after being in the city in the hustle and bustle environment. The focal point of the garden is Daniel's Japanese and Hawaiian styled centerpiece, a succulent filled toilet bowl bordered by a selection of other unique pots. But instead of throwing things out, you can recycle them, put, put a plant in them, makes them look beautiful. Got the casulas there. These are really interesting things in an old mug. The best way to learn more about these unique plants is to just get your hands dirty. So I asked Daniel to show us how easy planting could be. As a succulents like well draining soil. Propagating succulents is that easy. Succulent in a minute. That quirky country charm is alive in this garden with the use of vintage pots and toy figurines. Old uh, saucepans, I never even thought of using a saucepan for a pot. Well, you know, I don't get into the kitchen too much, so I may as well, <laughs> may as well use it for something, I feel. Thanks for coming out today. I actually uh, prepared you a gift earlier. That's how easy it is to <laughs> give a gift to someone. Thank you. No worries. Oh, I really appreciate now that. Now you can start your own succulent garden yourself. It's my own little Wodonga. Daniel has overcome all the hurdles of inner city gardening and time poor green thumbs by picking the durable succulents. <laughs>